Our fire res is now overcapped. So we're just looking to get a little bit of cold and lightning. The remain cold and lightning we have to get to capped, we could be done with two stone ring. So we're very, very easy for gear now. And that's that's what this is the position we wanted to get into. I wanted to have our core pieces of gear here done and then be having just getting our rings to sort out the rest of the resists we need. So cold and lightning ring gonna be nice and easy. So I think at this point we're gonna try and leave our amulet for last along with our secondary weapon so we're going to move on to rings now and jewels very very last if we're going to do any, anything with jewels so we still have five and a half chaos left we're running pretty low on alterations though you were the one spamming you for the five alt helm <laughs> yes xd <laughs> look he he's a, he's a mean xd okay all right all right let's go okay so we're gonna be looking for rings for this, we want to look at PoE Affix Ring and see what options we have available. We have a few more options on rings that you can take advantage of. For attack based builds, a lot. For caster builds, not quite as many. Not quite as many though. We can get something like cast speed, but it's not a huge priority. We mostly just want to try and get good life and resist. So, if we can, if you can get a coral with a high life roll, then go for it. If you have good resist by this point, we still want to get a little bit of resist. So we're going to be looking for something like maybe like a two stone that has um, cold and lightning on it to sort out those resistances. And then if we get a little bit more, we're going to be safe against curses, which is what we want. So. Cast speed rolls, 5 to 7. It's pretty low. It's like, you know, two passives worth of cast speed. It's nice to get if you can, but it's not a huge not a huge deal. Maximum life is pretty low on rings, though. You're looking for something like 55 to 70-ish. Um, more with the 30 plus from the coral ring, right? Like, if you add the coral ring to that, you can get it upwards of 100. And, of course, strength adds to that as well. So, what we're going to be looking for, then, is... We can afford to look for decent life rings. So we look for at least 50. At least 50. And then we're going to be looking for... We're not going to... We could add the car speed on. It's not a huge deal. We're going to look for total elemental resistances first. Pseudo total elemental resists. And we want... Let's let's start with 30, right? Because that's uh, that's like a, a well-rolled two-stone. We can go like 28, and that'll be like a, a 14 two-stone. 14% 14 two-stone. So we'll start with that, like super basic, and see what we can find here. So I think what we're gonna do is restrict our search to one chaos, because there's gonna be a lot of options here. I already know there's gonna be a ton of rings. So many rings get put on PoE trade, so it'll take us a long time to search through them one by one. So we'll search for max life here. So we're looking at a fire and lightning. We want cold and lightning preferably, but it does have a little bit of cold, not much though. Um, high strength, life, so ending up with a high total life ball. Not that great though. We're going to keep going down on what we're seeing. We're going to see a lot of stuff like this that doesn't really have much on it because of the resists here. That's just, uh, rings can be a little awkward to search for. It's not a huge deal though. Um, 87 life, not too bad. Bit of mana's not going to hurt. We don't really need any though. There's some crafting rings there. We probably don't need to look at crafting rings at this point. Let's see what we have. Fire and lightning. There's a cold and lightning with extra cold and 78.5 life. That one's actually pretty good. <laughs> that 0.5 life. That could save us, you know. You never know. That could save us. There is a bit of mana on that as well. It doesn't hurt. Life gain on kill. Doesn't hurt. That's okay. That's not too bad. What do we? Let's just check the affixes. It's always worth considering what you can actually mastercraft on these. So we have, oops. We have on this strength, suffix, life, prefix. Mana I'm pretty sure is a prefix. Yep, that's a prefix. Cold res, and then life gain on kill is a suffix. I'm fairly certain about that one. Life, regen, life gain on kill. There it is, life gain on kill. All right, so that puts us at suffix, suffix, prefix, prefix, and suffix. So we have an open prefix. There's not many prefixes you can craft with Orion, so we couldn't really do any crafting on that. that this one could work though. Um, we're gonna have a we're gonna highlight this, but we may have a little bit further of a look just to see if there's anything else that really stands out. Cold and lightning with added lightning. Nothing else though. Four jewels is one fusing, so half a C. Um, cold and lightning with 77 total life. Nothing else on there for us. 
We're actually, I'm still seeing a lot of rings. We're just, I'm just gonna poke my head in just gently, just very briefly into the cast speed category. It's nice having a zippy build, so get just a little bit of car speed. All right, let's, it looks like we didn't find anything with car speed. There's nothing with car speed, man. So we just go back to here. So we're gonna go ahead and put in search for total life again. And I think we might go for that ring that we found before, which was a little further down here. It was, I believe it was this one here. 78 life, mana, strength. That was probably the one we're gonna go for. That's fine for 1C. We could be looking at cheaper rings. Maybe our second ring will get cheaper. Let's see if this guy's available. Here we go. All right, we got our we got our ring trade for one cow, so it puts us at four and a half cows remaining. More than enough to get ourselves finished off. Whatever we have remaining at the end, we can spend on a sick weapon or a nice amulet. Which amulets can be a bit expensive. The amulet slot is crazy. Like, I'm not I'm not really looking forward to getting to the amulet slot, or maybe I am. It's kind of fun. All right, there's our ring. Thank you, old school Rangerino. Ple pleasure doing business with you. So, with that, that puts us at capped lightning resists, well over capped cold, and ov slightly over capped fire res. Our resistances are basically done for a budget gear set right now. You still want a little bit more. I still want a little bit more fire res. Our lightning's fine. We still want a little bit more... Uh, sorry, our cold is fine. We still want a little bit more lightning and fire. But that's going to happen kind of just incidentally. If you happen to get... You'd have to try really hard to not get something with some form of resist on it at this point. So we'll just have a slight bias towards those resists just to get them to about the 50% range. Really, really easy to do at this point. Like nine resists. You know, how many times did we get like seven lightning res? It's probably going to happen again. So... We'll look for our second ring now. And what we could do is we could just go a high life ring. So we can actually get rid of the resistance total and just go and we'd literally just search for high life rings. We don't even need to do that. We can search by life. We could see if there's any life cast speed rings just out of interest with no resist, right? There could be. It's possible. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's any life cast speed rings for one chaos. There is. There is. We'll search by max life. We're seeing a huge amount of fire resist with car speed 72 life it is a unset ring which is this is interesting this is interesting i'm very tempted to buy this because you can vile this and maybe get something nice on the implicit there but um you could just grab this and then vile it later but even without an implicit that's kind of good for us at this point that could work let's see what else is here there's probably not much else that's really good. We could get something with Chaos Res at this point, because now that we're at the point where we do have decent Ellie Res, a little bit of Chaos Res actually could help us quite a bit. We do need a little bit of in for the one, but the easiest place to get that's going to be the Amulet. If we don't accidentally get it somewhere else, we'll just get it on the Amulet. So I like this Chaos Ring quite a bit. We could offer this guy one Chaos, and that's basically what 16 Alts is. And uh, I also like this one for a Fuse, though. I also like this one for a fuse. It's all, it's item level 69 and we have to buy it. Lewd. So 5% car speed, 6% car speed. It's not much difference in that really. This one has extra mana. This one has mana gain of kill, whatever. This one has a bit of mana regen and mana. This, has actually, this one's actually pretty decent. What else is there? Pretty high mana regen 2 stone here. Actually, this one's really quite good. Oh, we might actually get this one. 40% mana regen is going to be helpful. I mean, we don't. I don't explicitly need mana regen on this, but it would be a good idea to get that because of the high mana regen roll. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that one. I do like. I do like the idea of getting a little bit of chaos res, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm actually pretty tempted to see if we can buy that. Will you accept one C instead? Don't have alts. Well, we don't have enough alts. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. All right, we'll get this. We'll get this ring. I'm gonna go with the chaos res ring because a little bit of chaos res is certainly gonna be helpful. Looks good for us. Very good. Very good. I do think I do think the two stone ring is a better ring overall. Yeah, I do think that is actually a better ring. This one, the thirty mana plus mana regen is good enough. It's like not as good as the forty percent mana regen, but it's good enough. But I, I do quite like that chaos res. The fire and lightning was nice to get as well. It would have made sure that our maybe you guys are right. Maybe the two stone ring was the right choice. 
I was just kind of like really like thinking having a bit of chaos res would be really nice. It'd be really nice. All right, so we have ourselves. Mm, I'm thinking we might want to get the amulet now, actually, so that we can make sure we can equip wands and uh, all of that junk. So we might go for that. You could on your build, and a cheaper option sometimes can always just be if you if you are like next to one of these nodes, you can always grab one of those. That can be a way to do it. You can even always respec into something like mana flows. Don't be afraid to respec a few, few points here and there in your build to try and get the right uh, get the right stats around the place to make sure that you have uh, you know your stat requirements and you can even get extra resistances and things like that. Right, you can actually grab like a little bit of resistance tree. Like I had a bit of cold res on this tree just here, which um, if I respec that, that would still have a good amount. So uh, there we go. All right, so. Let's get ourselves an amulet then. Amulets, guys, are, are very crazy. So like, amulets are the wild card of Path of Exile gearing. They're the wild child. You can get so many different things on amulets. Are you ready for this? Accessories, amulet. Look at that list of affixes. There's such a big miss, mix. You can just get life and resistances. You can get cast speed, crit chance, crit multiplier. There's a whole bunch of different attacks and weapon elemental damage, accuracy, all attributes, individual attributes. Amulets are a problem fixer slot. If you have a problem of some description, then amulets can fix it. Do I have a, still have a jewel equipped? Do I? I do still have a jewel equipped. All right. Doesn't it doesn't have it doesn't have resist on it? Thankfully, so that's not affecting our. Resistance totals. I had more jewels than I thought I had. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's the jewels gone. All right. So I was hitting at 5k life with our current pool. 84 obviously is a bit higher. You'd have a bit less if you were a lower level, but that's we're still doing okay. Our life totals are pretty good so far. We've gotten pretty good life gear overall, actually. Pretty happy with that. So we need int on our amulet. That's our first thing. So we're going to look for an amulet with intelligence. And we're probably just going to look for a high life intelligence amulet, really. We could try and get something like cast speed, or... Mm, we could. Cast speed rolls, you can get a decent amount of cast speed on an amulet. We might try and look for a cut life cast speed amulet first and see what we can get. Let's actually go one alk, see if we can save some money for linking, getting our gear linked up. Alright, I'm, I'm not seeing any life cast speed. The life totals on amulets are not so high, though. So, we might want to drop that down a bit. Actually, let's just get rid of the car speed and go high life amulet. We need int as well, I forgot about the intelligence. Okay, so we only need like 20 intelligence. Alright, let's search for highest life totals here. All attributes, intelligence gives us plenty, and it also gives us a little bit of extra life there, so it's 96 instead of 89. Uh, the rest of the stats on that are pretty garbage. You could mastercraft that though. Looks like you could mastercraft a resist on it even. So we could get one of our resists on there. It's only five alterations. It's pretty cheap. We could just get something like that. 20 int, 72 life. Uh, yeah, that could work. That could work as well. The mana gain on kill is a suffix though. So actually, I think you could probably still mastercraft a resist on that. What else do we have here? Is there anything else that's super standing out for me? I honestly think that first one. I think the first one's fine. We can craft our resist on that. It's only five alterations. Easy mode. Please don't be AFK. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our five alts ready. Why not just farm for stuff? Isn't that the main point of the action RPG? Yeah, for sure. You can't farm with no gear on your character, though. <laughs> I mean, you will always have gear on your character as you're leveling, right? This is mostly just like in a kind of like a, a guide to showing how you would build up gear sets. Obviously, you would never really need to actually build an entire gear set. Though sometimes if your gear's pretty shitty, it's not a bad idea just to start, start from scratch. Or like pull, pull aside your one decent item and start from there. And that's probably what you'll do, actually. If you guys are tr like at, at early end game and you're looking to gear up your character to get started on maps, and you have like one, two nice pieces of gear, take everything else off and leave those two nice, nice pieces of gear off and then work from there. So maybe you already have like a decent pair of boots and gloves. Start with those, and then you know, then go to your chest, then your helmet, then your belt, then your rings, then your amulet, then your weapons. So this guy is maybe AFK. Let's who, slash who is him and see. Apparently he is in Lion Eyes Watch. Might be AFK in town. These amulets are pretty garbage overall. We could just go this high intelligence one for an elk. One one elk. We're not getting any more incidental resistances there, so. We're, we're capped, but we're not safe against curses. 
You could build that up on jewels really easily though. Or a shield. Like if you're not quite there on resistances, just chucking a cheapo shield with like you can get a, a base shield that has 12 oil rares on it. <laughs> That's enough by itself. Alright, this guy's not here, so we're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy another amulet. I might go for this Chaos Res one. Okay, let's try this one. See if he is there. We have our Alk ready to go. Yeah, having a curse removal flask is a good counter to the fact that you don't have overcapped resistances. There we go. We're actually gonna end up with decent Chaos Res for like a budget gear set. For a 10C Chaos gear set to have any Chaos Res is, uh, like for a 10C gear set to have any Chaos Res is decent. That gives us our wand. We're looking pretty good, guys. We're looking pretty good. Chaos Res is at 30 now, which will put us at minus 30, but that's still something. Chaos Res is balanced around... Chaos Damage is balanced around having about 0% resistances, so if you get close to zero, you're in pretty good shape, but even having minus 30 on a budget set is fine. You don't usually start needing that until, like, mid to high level maps. 